I don't know how this happens, but yeah. I believe it was Doug Tappet that said, if you want an interesting car story, just say yes. And last night I knew he had the cannonball record, so I think I may take his advice. Well, when you apply that to tractors, well, things get interesting. Well, I got a friend of mine calls me up and says, hey, I got this old tractor. I want to sell it cheap. Next thing you know, it's in my driveway because bad decisions. Well, it's actually not a bad machine. I mean, it's pretty well made. It's a 1964, 1966 Montgomery Ward Squire 10, which is basically a Simplicity 101 something or another. It's got a Briggs and Stratton engine in it. It's shaft driven. You can see a shaft down there. It has a PTO out the front, right? It has this funky carburetor. I think that's an updraft. I don't know. I'm still uh, Googling this whole thing. I guess this thing, like, folds in half or something. I don't know. It's got this crazy mechanism going on here. Don't know much about it. Like I said, I'm not really a simplicity guy. I'm, as you guys know, I'm a more of a Sears guy. But, you know, it was going to get scrapped. Or, you know, worse. Well, not much worse than getting scrapped. But, you know what I mean. I just didn't want to see it get scrapped. So... So I had to save it. I figured at the very least I'll take the wheel blades off of it and send it down the road and make a little bit of money on it. But interesting tractor. Very well made though. I mean, these thick uprights. Yeah, this is a thick screen. This mesh they use for the grill. The steering is not original, it's pretty jacked up. Um, in fact, the wheels are mismatched, they're pretty jacked up. The steering, in my opinion, looks sketchy, but maybe it's like that for a reason. I don't really know. Um just a cool old tractor. I mean, just character. I mean, look how thick this piece of steel is you know, holding the lights on. You know, and this is a flathead Briggs. Don't know much about it. Not a, not a bad engine. Old school voltage regulator, starter generator, coil, you know, metal gas tank. Has the uh, old school gas gauge that's probably a uh, piece of wood I'm guessing I'm getting guessing Get that. Knight Rider and stuff inspired <laughs> steering wheel I mean just look at this dashboard you know what I mean it looks like it, it looks like you know HVAC controls for you know a car Stuart water gauges it's push start oh, look at that hold on Let's see Battery's dead. I had it running before. It leaks uh, fuel bad out of the carburetor. It needs a bunch of work. I think someone put these catalyte taillights on. That's pretty rad. Not sure if this weight was custom made or if this is actually a Simplicity or a Montgomery Ward item. Um, looks like it has some type of a three point hitch on it. I'm not sure how any of this stuff works, but I'm sure uh, I'll spend some time on the internet this evening and. You know, figure out exactly what I had before I decided to put this thing up for sale. But it's got some tire issues. Uh, probably you can just sell it just the way it is. I'm not gonna do anything else to it. It's got uh, too many issues that I for me to deal with to make it a runner. I was thinking about using it for a job over at my parents' house, just pulling a trailer of firewood and then selling it after that. But now nah, this thing needs to go to someone who's gonna appreciate it, use it for parts, or you know, restore it. You know, thinking about keeping the plow for that one, but. You know, I kind of feel bad cutting it up because it's, you know, to the right guy, this is this is gold, you know. And I'll try and sell it first. I'm only going to ask like 300 bucks for it. Just, just want to make a little bit of money on it. Send it down the road. You know, make sure it gets into the right hands. Hopefully, uh, either restore it or use it as parts or other, others may live. But check out that bitchin' tuck and roll upholstery. I mean, just think. I mean, it's got piping on the side of it. You know what I mean? Look, that is just so cool. So cool. That's like American graffiti right there. I love the feel of the tuck and roll upholstery. Uh, good times. Delco Remy.